Hello everyone, this is Luis Manuel from Sound on Wave. And this is the question, which is the best portable speaker? I came across with idea to buy a portable speaker and I went to some places to test them. And this is the ones, the these are the, the ones that, that I tested. Um, based my experience, I made a decision. The Audibax Denver 8, we have a price uh, about uh, around $169. Uh, I didn't have the, the trust in this speaker since, because the cost, it came with a remote control and two microphones, and I don't think that is uh, the best choice for us musician. Remember that my decision is based uh, as a professional singer, not an owner of, the, of a Latin band. So I'm not a DJ, I'm not a uh, person that got a hobby to put music in those these devices, okay? So I discarded because when I tested, no, no, I don't like it. So I went to the next level and I went to this Ibiza sound. Uh, what I terrorized me was uh, that it comes with a lot of stuff, mm, remote control, Bluetooth, another microphone, a uh, wireless microphone. And it's, it's no, no, no. Uh, I tested and it is, it's, the sound is terrible too much distortion. If you want to go to a McDonald's or a, a children's party or something like that, this is perfect. This is perfect. But I don't like it. I don't like it sincerely. It's 169 euros, like a 210 dollars. No. So I I stopped going to Brandsmart to uh, appliances stores and I went to a music store. And the first one that I test was um, the Behringer MPA 200 BT. Uh, the cost is three three hundred euros, about three hundred and sixty dollars, with taxes and everything. It has two hundred watts. Comes with a microphone. Is Bluetooth. Uh, is decent. I start considering in my list. So I don't gonna discard it because maybe the price is very attractive and this is another level, uh, another level of, of devices, portable speakers. The next one that I came across and test was the Prodigy i603A. And uh, believe me, this is a copycat. <laughs> this is a copy of the Bose S1 Pro. But it has the advantage that is more powerful. It has more power. Uh, it got the same three tweeters and a 6.5 inches woofer. But it's, it's good. The only con is the battery lasts only four hours and it's 398 euros, something like a $460, okay? Then I came with the JBL Eon 1. It's almost 500 euros, $570. This is an excellent speaker, excellent. And one of the most complete that I could review. Uh, in, in this level, they start working with an app uh is one of the my the most nice speaker that I tested and I start considering uh seriously because it's one of the best it's very practical it has 200 watts maximum very good this is my experience Bose S1 Pro the price is 560 euros with the battery I don't, I can tell you, I own it, four of these speakers, and I sold them, 
because for a band we are sometimes many times we are a band of four or five musicians this is this is this is crap is terrible start uh, overloading and then turn it off automatically so the sound is very good but a very low volume uh, volume that you can use in your backyard when I when you are making a barbecue or something like that but not professionally for a singer and with a, a, a small band no so I own it and I sold them all the four okay so both is never again in my list and then I try the Mackie Thumb Go and the price was much better 387 euros something like a in I saw in a like a sweet warrant for uh, 399 dollars so I unbox it I don't gonna start with a tedious process to open the box and everything in the box only comes the the power cable and the man um, uh, quick reference not a manual okay this speaker is very portable uh, the battery says that lasts uh, 10 to 12 hours you can put in a pole or a stand you can use as a monitor floor uh, <coughs> tabletop it comes they sell a uh, carrying bag and they sell an extra battery if you need it the dock is not included as per se, the, the box says and I'm gonna test them uh, it has a uh, features like a we, we can control it with an app the the app name is thumb connect 2 okay um, it has two channels combo XLR one output XLR so you can make a chain connect more speakers or a subwoofer or something like that uh, also it has a docking button so whenever you uh, talk on the microphone on channel 1 the channel 2 is gonna reduce the volume automatically here are the voicing modes the outdoor mode that changed the equalization the music ducking uh, feedback eliminator that is something that is maybe useful the pair with a bluetooth with your tablet or phone the link with another speaker the channel one that has a switch for line and mic the channel two has a 3.5 millimeters input okay the main volume and uh, the four graphics for the voicing modes the equalizations okay uh, it works with uh, 110 to 220 volts so you can use in any part of the world the connector is IEC uh, so it's very very standard okay so let's get started the first thing that we're gonna do with this speaker here is a, as a monitor floor is put on charge let's connect it to the electricity we are in the 220 volts here and when the LED in front is blinking the speaker is charging okay let me remove this label I don't know why the musicians they leave the label on the speakers I don't know never understand that so when it's totally completely charged the LED is steady it's on all the time here is in a, a speaker stand and then we go to the app thumb connect go I have in my iPad Pro okay so we have the home I, I don't know why when you connect it the first time everything is on maximum the main and the two channels okay 
So I already uh, paired with the, my iPad. We have uh, advanced uh, the, the four uh, equalizations, uh, speech, monitor, with subwoofer, and music. I'm gonna leave it in music. In the advanced uh, features, we find that you can add another speaker and we, we got stereo, Bluetooth. It can connect automatically, can link automatically if you got another speaker, the feedback limitator, and I got it off. And this is an extra equalization that is very, very simple. You can only modify the great, the low, the very low and the very high frequencies, okay? Uh, this is about this information of the app, the privacy policy, the version. Okay, so we're gonna test it with music. We're gonna see how it is, okay? It says that it's 200 watts. Maybe it's like 140 RMS. I'm gonna connect this microphone and I'm gonna test it. But I, I raise the volume considerably because I want to test it like a uh, I got a like a kind of party in, me, in my house post Thanksgiving and here is a music ducking, the feedback emulator, the front led that you can turn it on or off, the link with another speaker, already the pair uh, led is on. I select microphone and it's here. Perfect. I'm using it. And let's test the music. Let's see. Um, I have it at 80% of the power, probably. Okay, guys, this is the Mackie Thump Go. I'm very happy with it. I'm gonna order the second unit to get the pair, and I'm gonna use it. And this, and this is all. I got like a six hours so far. The battery is still full, so I'm happy with this speaker. See you next time. This is Sun on Wave. Bye bye.